hi guys we are now at the end of this studio zap now let's create a button so that we can delete all the to do zap so in here i'm going to use a div tag and inside the div tag i'm going to create a button and button to be given just a button yeah just a button and the button name is delete all and just going to save it okay now just going to give some styling too so i have also used the style of css so in style of css just going to give the button some styling so the styling that you can give background to be same as content box you can give Okay, so we have to change the color of it and the same favorite color of mine. I'm going to give white but not full white. Now this is the color that I want to give. Okay, there's one problem. It's happening. Yeah, that's what what we need. Now one more thing that I have to do that border to be none order to be none now this is done but we have to use something about this overflowing means the list will go on so we have to do some about overflowing of it so in our you can see to do's list yeah in our to do's list i'm going to fix the size of it I'm going to give the size of it 300 pixel maybe and and also going to overflow okay so it means it's more than enough so overflow I'm going to give overflow Y to be give scroll or auto yeah auto you can give and overflow x to be hidden okay but we have to small it yeah okay, this looks good maybe yeah okay just type in here something yeah, this is more than enough you just look into it yeah now it's overflowing as you can see in here now we can just delete all as you expect now what we need one more thing that we need whenever we click on it that's to be do some action right so go to your uh where go to your app.js so giving some styling to styling to be given margin top first of all give margin top margin top to be 20 pixel and cursor cursor to be pointer now this is what we need in here as you can see we got the delete all now what we need again i'm going to create a new accent so that all the data will be deleted all the list will be deleted so export const delete all as the name suggests so we don't need anything we don't need any parameter for this one just use delete all and just all yeah that's it that's what we need in here go to your a to do dot reducer and the case that we need in here delete all and i'm going to return 
simply the state but without the state <laughs> that's you can say yeah that's this is what we need in here now if we just save it and uh, let's come on yeah in here if i just type in something typing in typing in typing in typing in now if we just click on this little oh wow it's not working because i haven't added the accent button right so just go to your this part and going to remove this part and going to convert this into es6 functionality const app and going to use arrow function now in here we need export default just as the way that we need so export default we need this connect and inside the connect we need first of all this null because we don't need any uh, state we need uh, accent prop now in here i'm just going to use const map dispatch to props dispatch and in here i'm going to fire an accent the accent name is delete all and yeah so this is it dispatching the accent the accent name is delete all yeah. now in here i'm just going to use the props so in here we need this delete all and going to use in here on click delete all i'll just save it and there is some problem in here okay so it hasn't been imported disconnect okay just import it uh, we have imported now if we just click on a delete all okay delete all is not a function hmm. why so it should be a function there is an error in here okay okay just type in here now if we just click on it okay so this is how we can use it like we haven't have a parameter in here so we can use it like this so just use use it as a props so now if we just click on it it will be deleted oh it will remain in here okay so go to your add to do okay uh go to your reducer and if we if there is some text in here just use it like this now i'm going to see i'm going to use it here the local storage that i have talked about about the persistence of the data so how can we use it now first of all we need in here we need in add to do because whenever we add the list to be in here and we also need at the delete to do and also in edit add to do so these three places we need and also in the delete all also so uh let's see how can we do this now in window uh, i'm going to use it here also i'm going to use in here so window we can get from window dot local storage dot set 
icon and I'm going to use to do two. Okay, I haven't talked about what this local storage means. So just go to your console. If you are in your console, just go to your console and just type in local storage. Local storage, you can see in here that I have got some storage in here that uh, this is the previous made story that here you can see in here. So the same thing that we are using in here. So back to your code and I have used this window lock, this type of thing. So in here, I'm going to use it. And what we're gonna use, we're gonna create a const reduce to and just going to use it here. Now just save it and it's an object uh it's an array so what we have to do we have to change convert into a json object so it will be placed inside this window dot local storage so whenever we got from local storage we have to convert this json format into an object format so back to our code in here I'm going to save it as a to do to in here and in here we can see to do to like this so basically this how we can save our items in our windows local storage we will see in the next video all the local storage that we need so first of all we're gonna see in here I'm going to just uh, saving in here. This is all going to save. Now, if I just refresh it back, uh, okay, okay, we haven't used the persistence one. Okay, we will uh, see that later. Oh no, no, we will see it right now. Yeah. Okay, so in our add to do uh, reducer what we need we need like whenever we call app.js whenever we mount this project into our browser it will call this component dead mount that we will use okay so i'm going to use hooks that we haven't talked about and it will be the next series of the react course and i'm going to just give you a taste of it so this use effect is same as it it can be used as many life cycles of react so in here i'm going to use this use effect as a componented mount so let's see how can we do this so it's a use effect this is a side effect you can say and it's going to call this function that anything that we're going to write in here okay and i'm going to give this dependency is to be an array empty array so that it will be called only one time so basically this means that it will be called it is dependent on an empty array so this is a componented mount now in here in our uh, action i'm going to create a new persist one export const persist to do we don't need any payload in here now type you can give anything that you want i'm going to give persist to do to do is basically you can say okay now just going to save it and go to your reducer part and in here giving the type type name 
we got this and now we are gonna use it here so we're gonna return some to do's in here so dot 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 state and to do's we're gonna fill it up with something that we haven't got it from the window dot local storage so we can get it from window dot local storage dot get item and the key that we're gonna provide this is what we need the key that we're gonna play and the set item is same as yes. the key that we're gonna provide and the value that we're gonna provide so the key in here is reduce to and uh, it's going to be parse it's going to convert json into an object and going to save is to do's and in here i'm going to use it to do's but it can be to do's can be a null value so for checking checking purpose if it is is not null we're gonna use this to do's or else we're gonna provide this empty array this is what we have written in here okay now just save it go to your and uh, we don't know it in here we go to your app.js and in here i'm going to call a new to do presses to do uh, an action i'm going to dispatch it presses to do's now in here i'm going to call it uh, we can use it here because this is act as a props so we can basically use it like this so persist to do now that's it that's what we need yeah just save it yeah we got this one as you can see that if i just browse it again if i just uh, refresh it again it will be stored in here so we can see that we have done the first part or initialization part how can we initialize and now in the next video it will be last we're gonna use refactoring our code so it says that all the class component will be converted into functional component also there's one problem that uh, whenever you delete some part of it and if you just browse refresh it again it will be reflected back again so we have to tackle this problem also so yeah that's all thanks